okay now we see some problems uh, based on ideal gas equation okay so here the density of a gas is found to be 5.46 grams per decimeter cube decimeter cube uh, exactly equal to the liter at uh, 27 degree celsius and 2 bar pressure so what will be its pressure at stp means at normal at uh, some conditions uh, the density is given we need to find the density at stp okay so at first uh, we know the equation for density according to ideal gas equation it can be written as mass by molar mass rt m by v rt sorry so m by v we can write mass by value equal density so d is equals pm by rt so from the onwards you need to remember density is equal pm by rt directly okay first uh, we see the density for given conditions in the place of d we can some books it also given row okay no change in it okay first given conditions uh, what are the given conditions given condition we are taking as 1 stp we are taking as 2 ok uh, and given condition what is the pressure 2 bar molar mass so here molar mass a particular gas we don't know about that gas so the same is called m only ok because at any condition there is no change in the m value there is no change in the r value so what is the t? the t is a 27 degree celsius kelvin 300 kelvin then what about stp condition we know the pressure is at stp what is the pressure? that is 1 bar so 1.01 .01 exactly but generally we are taking 1 bar so molar mass same gas gravity no change temperature means uh, there is 20 so what is the stp temperature so again here same uh, we know the stp temperature means there is uh, 273 kelvin or 0 degree celsius here d both are r value so we need to know the first pressure is given so first density d1 is equal how much 5.46 grams grams per decimeter cube what is for D2 we know the relation for density that is say for D1 we can write what P1 M by R T1 say it is equation 1 for this density it can be written as P2M by RT2 ok just by doing the uh, equation 1 by 2 1 by 2 in class, in class d1 by d2 is equal to so p1 by r m or m or this get cancelled so clearly we now write here so here r or get cancelled mm get cancelled as they are exactly equal for a single gas 
Now the formula becomes d1 by d2 is equal to t1 by t1 into t2 by t2. Now substitute the values. We need to find the d2. Okay. Now d2 becomes what? d1 p1 p2 by p1 p2 so d2 is equal so what is the d1 5 5 what is the t1 what is the p2 1 bar p1 2 bar p2 So here, uh, so approximately we will get, uh, so you need to do the calculations uh, directly, mainly. This exactly gives 3. So what are the units given? Grams per decimeter. So here also the answer is 3 grams per decimeter cube okay okay write down so here see the next one the density of a gas is found to be 1.56 grams per liter at 745 millimeter of pressure and 60 degree temperature. So calculate the molar mass of the gas means we need to calculate uh, molecular weight okay which is fixed for a gas okay so it is given in terms of density so what is the ideal gas equation in terms of density d is equal to just now we calculated derived pd is equal to pm by rt so what is the pressure so say it is equation 1 okay so what here density is given 1.56 grams per liter what is the pressure 745 745 mm general uh, we used to calculate we used to substitute the pressure in terms of atmosphere so the mm should be converted into atmosphere that is by 760 atmosphere next we know the molar mass we need to find that molar mass what is the temperature 60 degree means uh, plus 273 okay how much becomes uh, 333 okay. so now substitute the values in equation 1 1 implies pressure how much 745 by 760 so we know the density 1.56 pressure is given so we need to find this m okay so what is this r this is in atmosphere given in terms of liter so the r value is 0 0.0821 atmosphere liter per mole per kelvin so the temperature 333 Kelvin. We need to find the M. What is M? So here it becomes uh, 1.56 into 760. One. Here on this calculation, so we, 
so on this calculation so we will get like this okay so on this oval calculation we will get 32413.5 by 7.5 here the molar mass finally got 43.5 amu so it is also maybe given in terms of uh, grams no change in the numerical value okay right now Okay, so see the another one. So calculate the weight of methane in a nine liter cylinder at sixteen atmosphere and twenty seven degrees Celsius temperature. So we need to find the weight on nothing but mass. So so temperature is given how much? We need to calculate what? Weight of methane. So, what is the molecular weight of methane? Now, so what is the formula? expand so this becomes in the place of n we can write uh, weight by molecular weight out into t we need to find this molecular sorry weight okay now the equation become what pv into molecular weight by r t so p how much Volume is nine liter, mass is sixteen. So already the pressure is also given sixteen. Okay. So all value. So it is an atmosphere liter. So what is value zero point zero eight two one atmosphere liter. Temperature is given three hundred. The weight is finally here. We will get uh, sixteen. So three hundred means uh, it becomes three. So on this calculation, we will get this weight. It is two three zero four. By eight point two one into three. Here we will get twenty four point six three. So again, on this calculation, so approximately we will get. Uh, Ninety four grams. Okay. So here is it is equal to ninety four grams. You see the. A uh, different problem based on density. Here, yeah, total different compared to the earlier one. Okay. So the density of a certain gaseous oxide. Okay. Here, yeah, what is the gas is not given. Just uh, a certain gaseous oxide, one point five bar pressure and twenty degrees Celsius temperature, which is exactly same. As that of oxygen at ten degrees Celsius, four point five bar pressure. We need to calculate 
द मोलर मास ऑफ द गैस इज ऑक्साइड एक टू गैस मीन्स फॉर वन इज फॉर ऑक्सीजन गैस सेकेंड फॉर अनोन ऑक्साइड सो फॉर बोथ प्रेजर इज गिवेन टेम्परेचर इज गिवेन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो गिवेन क्लू दैट बोथ आर एक्सर्टिंग सेम प्रेजर ओके बोथ आर एक्सर्टिंग सेम प्रेजर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मोलर मास ऑफ दिस गैस इज ऑक्साइड as we know the molar mass of dioxygen that is 32 okay so now so only we know the formula general formula d is equal to general mass by volume or uh, in terms of ideal gas d is equal to pm by rt now apply this equation for oxygen density of oxygen equals so pressure of oxygen molar mass of oxygen r is same for all temperature of oxygen so what is the pressure is given for oxygen that change in nothing but o2 so 4.5 molar mass we know 32 Or just write it as R only because it is constant for all gases. What is the temperature? Ten degrees Celsius converted into Kelvin. That becomes how much? Two eighty three. Say it is equation one. Now write the density of uh, oxide. Okay, whatever the gas, just uh, here we are writing it as oxide. So density of oxide. So pressure of oxide, molar mass of oxide, R is common for all. Temperature of oxide. For so the P oxide, how much pressure? One point five. So we need to find out the molar mass of oxide. What is the temperature of oxide? Twenty degrees. So convert it into Kelvin. What is that? Two seventy three twenty two ninety three Kelvin. Say it is equation two. So here a clue is given that both are having Same densities. Here densities are equal. Means uh, D oxygen so it is given that uh, density of oxygen and density of that oxide are exactly equal so now with the help of 1 and 2 we can write four point five into thirty two by r into two eighty three is equal to One point five into molar mass of that oxide by R into two ninety three. Okay, we need to find out that molar mass of oxide. Okay, so R value R value get cancelled, and here we need to calculate. what we need to calculate molar mass of oxide is 4.5 32 this cross multiplying to 1.5 okay here the calculations become important So four point five thirty two two ninety three by two eighty three into one point five. So here approximately we will get four point five 
टू थर्टी टू इंटू टू नाइन्टी थ्री हेयर विल गेट फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड वन नाइन्टी टू बाय नेक्स्ट टू एटी थ्री इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव सो दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव so here important the calculations are very important just here we are doing the calculations the uh, firstly with help of calculator okay but in any exam you need not to allowed the calculators so it is compulsory to practice the calculations here you will get 99.5 okay so mol molar mass grams per mole means molar mass means the mass of a substance and a compound a compound per mole okay okay write down You see the simple one. The calculate the value occupied by five grams of acetylene. Okay, so at fifty degrees temperature and this much pressure. So we know the formula. Just we need to identify which formula is useful. So find out the V. That is M R T by T. Okay. So what is the number of moles weight by molecular weight? This is weight. What is the molecular weight of C two H two? For carbon, this is twelve, twelve, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Our value. Zero point zero eight two one atmosphere liter per mole per kilogram. What is the temperature? Here temperature is given fifty degrees Celsius. So fifty degrees Celsius temperature. So convert it into normal temperature. Okay. Kelvins. What is the pressure? Seven forty. Change it into atmosphere. As we took the R value zero point zero eight two one atmosphere liter per mole per kelvin. So the pressure must be in atmospheres. So finally, we get what? Cancel. That's right. And here the final we will get the value. So five into zero point zero eight two one. So you have to do the calculation in notebook. Okay. Here they got ten thousand. Seventy seven by twenty six into seventy four. That is nineteen twenty four. Finally, we will get Is five point two four liters. As we took the R value in atmosphere per liter per mole Kelvin, the pressure in atmospheres, the value must be we will get in liters. Okay. Thus, uh, in these problems, we need to remember how to take the formula and how to take the units of R value and pressure. That's important.